How in the world is everybody doing out there in Facebook land? Man, the lighting in this office is crazy right now. It's because it's so bright and sunny and beautiful here in Ohio. Danielle Rowe is already on and she has shared this out. Thank you so much, Danielle. You rock. Really appreciate you. Clarence Thomas and Deb Ballinger, you're in here? What? What? Clarence Thomas, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. So, wow, I just had a freaking amazing meeting and conversation with my good friend. The, well, okay, we, we're, we're friends in real life and on Facebook. And um, we just haven't talked in a long time. <clears throat> So Tiffany Timmons Saab and I just had a long meeting, good meeting on, uh, on Zoom. And she is, by the way, she is amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. She's, um, she's one of my original coaches. Um, she, oh dude, you're in Brazil? That's awesome, bro. That is awesome. Richard. Hey, Deb, now you can chat. There you go. We are blessed to be following winners. Yes, we are. I agree. So, um, Tiffany. Yeah, it's pretty cold here, dude. It's pretty cold. Probably not as cold as um, Canada, eh? Um, but it's, it's pretty cold here. So, um, Tiffany actually has, um, she's a world-class speaker. Hey, Sandy, how are you? And she's a coach. She <clears throat> was originally with, um, um, I think action coach at one point and she's been, she's been in coaching for a very, very long time. And I mean, she is dynamite. I think she's going to hop on here um, because I want the world to know her. I tagged her in this video. Um, <clears throat> I want everybody to get to know Tiffany. She's amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. And she's a, she's a dynamic speaker. Actually, I built her first website for her. Well, I don't know if it was her first website, but I built her website years ago. And um, actually went out and video recorded her speaking on stage at, at a couple of different big conferences she put on. Um, she is amazing. So um, I don't know if she's on here or not. She was going to hop on. Um, <clears throat> maybe not. Um, Tiffany, if you're on here, say hi. Are you on? I just sent her a text message. So, um, gosh, I really want you guys to get to know her. She is so incredible. I, I was going to try to, um, I was going to try, why is, what is this creator thing? What's up, Mitch? How you doing? Happy Monday to you, brother. She is absolutely amazing. Um, what is up, Rob Martin? <laughs> What's going on, dude? So, um, uh, jump on with your phone. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to help Tiffany get in here. Um, anyway, so we, I, I just had a long conversation with her. I got to tell you something. She asked me to write a review on, for her book. Um, I didn't even know her, her husband is a uh, physician, um, oncologist and I didn't know that. Oh, there you are. That's all right. Let's see if I can do this. Um, bring Tiffany. I invited you. You have to hit accept, but they moved and I didn't even know it until recently. There you are. Did I do it? I'm such a novice. You you did it. You did it. Welcome. <laughs> there is Tiffany Timmons Saab. Hi, Ken. Hello, everybody. There she is out in uh, out in your beautiful Arizona home, right? 
It sure is. It sure is. 74 and sunny today. Wow, that's warmer than here. Way warmer than here. <laughs> Actually, I had the window cracked in my office just because my office gets so hot, but I, I, I had to close it. <laughs> I was it's because of all those ideas you're churning out. You've just got so much energy that it's constantly being burned, and that's what heats up that office. <laughs> yeah. So I was just, bra did you hear me bragging about how awesome I think you are? You know, I, I didn't. Maybe I do need to hear that again. <laughs> so um, I was telling everybody that you have a book that you're coming out with soon, right? I do. Yes, yes. What's, what's the name of it? It is called You're Leading Now. It's a six-step strategy for building and leading dynamic teams. And the unique piece of it is that it's all in rhyme. Think of Dr. Seuss. For adults. Wow. I can't wait to read it and and write a review on it. <laughs> that's, that's the big piece. I can't wait to get it to you. You're going to get it here soon. Yeah. Hey, there's Tiffany. Oi, bye, Brad French. Um, hey, by the way, for all of you who've shared this out, thank you very, very much. I know I appreciate it. Tiffany, I'm sure appreciates it as well. Um, I, I just want to, you know, I was talking with Tiffany earlier and I said, I said, you know, there's, there's a lot of great people on Facebook that, that you need to connect with. And um, <laughs> Brad French said, Dr. Seuss for adults sounds awesome. Deb, <laughs> Deb Ballinger definitely loves rhyming. What's up, Brian Sherman? How you doing? So everybody on here, send Tiffany a um send her a friend request or follower or whatever on facebook she's um she's in massive expansion mode and getting ready for the holidays i'm sure well yeah ken as you know i know last time you saw me i didn't have any kids but i am a mom with three young kids um and that's part of why i ended up writing in rhyme because it's all it's the only way i can think sometimes now um <laughs> That's I funny. can't, I, I have a hard time writing complete sentences, but I can think in rhyme. <laughs> I'm really good at getting a point across in rhyme. Sorry, that's funny. <clears throat> so, um, so tell me a little bit about the book. Like what's, what's the, the, I'm sure it has chapters. What's, what's the it first, does. what's the first chapter about? Yes. Yeah, the first chapter is the introduction. So I set the stage and the characters, um, there's Guy, and Guy is the owner of a team. So he takes over, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people out there who are leaders, they dreamt of the day they were going to be a leader, right? Because it looks it looks really easy when you're not doing it. Right. And you can't wait to get in there because you know all the mistakes your bosses have made. Right. So finally, Guy gets to be a leader, and he thinks, you know, hey, I'm just going gonna, gonna to tell my team what to do. But they don't do what he tells them to do. And that's because no one... It, you know, leadership is harder than um, most people think it is. And you learn a lot of hard, <laughs> look at those big eyes. <laughs> and Ken is actually going to be one of my first, um, I'm going to be starting a podcast to compliment the book. So I've asked Ken to be my first guest to talk uh, about leadership. And um, so Ken, you're going to get to share your successes as well as your um, openness and what went wrong, you know, because it, <laughs> it's hard. So, so Ken, was leadership all that you dreamt it was going to be? No, not a, not even close. <laughs> no, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. It really is. I, I mean, you know, getting getting people to um, because the important in running any kind of a business, your team is the most important part of the business. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, say things like, like, um, you know, they'll, they'll say things like, well, I'm going to build this big company and, and we're going to, you know, the customer is the most important thing. Well, I, I mean, I've heard a different take on that. And I, I kind of agree with the customer is definitely very, very important. But if your team isn't right and you don't know how to manage and lead your team, they will yep. screw your customers over so bad that they'll all end up hating you. <laughs> and they don't hate your team. They hate you. Right. <laughs> right. The, team will, the team will turn over and then you have new people. So that's and that's why I wrote this book, because of, you know, we don't want to have turnover. You want to get the right people 
into the organization. And then you want to be able to hold them accountable right. the right way. Yeah. And there are specific steps that we can take to engage the team, to use our time more effectively, to use the talents that everybody brings. Everybody has gifts that they brought to your organization. That's why you hired them. Yeah. How do you harness that and bring it out and let them, let them do it? And one of the parts of the book is letting your team run the race and you can't do it for them. You know, you've got to lead them and coach them and then they've got to go out and do it on their own. So, and that uh, is one of the steps. I, I was telling everybody before you got on that, that you were one of my original coaches. Um, I, I don't even know how long ago it's been like eight years ago, maybe that, that I built your, your, was it, was it your first website or I built a website yeah. for you? Um, yeah. And then I, I came out to, to your events and filmed you, you know, speaking on stage and, and you are just, I mean, you're a badass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank you. and, and I, I love that about you because you, you're, you always, you, you've always been able to, um, like when you were working with me, I, I would bring up situations and you were always able to help me find a, a solution. And I love that about you. So talk a little bit about, I mean, you know, to write a book on anything, um, you know, it's, it's helpful if people know that you're an authority, at least somewhat of an authority in that, that, that capacity. Talk a little bit about, because I know you were, I don't even know if you're allowed to bring up the organization you were part of before, um, but talk a little bit about your coaching and speaking experience. I'm sure people would love to hear that. Absolutely. So um, back in 05, I started my own, I, I had been in corporate sales and contract negotiations, and I decided that wasn't for me. So I took this big leap and really wasn't sure how I was going to do, but I did get certified through Zig Ziglar. That was the first organization That's right. that, um, that I got certified through. So through their sales program, um, his success principles and presentation skills. And those were the areas that I uh, you know, I think I was also placed in this because it's something that I've always needed. I've always needed that help to stay focused and to pull deeper from within what we have and to harness those gifts. And the mindset is so important. I've been in healthcare and healthcare is very negative. I don't think it's improved since I've left it. Yeah. Uh, much worse, in fact. <laughs> but, you know, to, to, to keep of mind what you can constantly do to help people. Yeah. No matter what that situation is. Right. And so when I changed out of sales and I had owned a preschool for a while, I don't even know if you knew that. And I'd done I motivation speaking with high school students. I forgot. And that was that. before kids. Yeah, that was before I even have kids. Why would you start a preschool when you don't have kids? But uh, <laughs> and I learned that was not the business for me. So that was a good that was a good experience. I have a lot of um, I've learned a lot of things not to do by what I have tried. Yeah. And I know that, that that is not me. And that's how I've been able to cross off some things off the list. And this is the one that has stuck. Being able to work with people, whether with a team or one-on-one, -on -one, and to help them get the gunk out of the way, to focus on what the real issue is. I have a client that I've worked with for years, and he'd always say, all you do is ask me questions. That's all you do. You just talk to me and you ask me questions. He goes, and then like a light bulb will go off. And he goes, you always know where you're going. And the reality is I don't know where we're going. Right. I'm asking the questions and we're exploring this together. Right. And certainly when people are open to it, that's that's how it comes about. So my experience with Ziegler and then I was also with Action Coach, a fantastic organization yeah. on building businesses and leveraging your team. And then eventually I was, went out on my own and I've continued to get certified and mentored by some amazing people in this industry because we always are learning as hard as it is to accept sometimes when we're open to learning, yep. we're always going to be open to new opportunities. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. So, um, you know, I, and, and it was one of the things that I admired the most about you and I completely forgot that you were, uh, you were one of the, the only certified Zig Ziglar coaches in Ohio, right? Or the whole region, I think, or something. I think there was one, and I have seen some things recently. So that was right. Um, Zig was still alive when I got the chance to do it. And I actually had the chance to go to church with him and the redhead. And 
Um, oh, wow. You know, he's, yeah, he's as real in person as, as what you hear, uh, you know, wow. what comes through in his voice and his stories. And he's yeah. probably the, uh, the father of being genuine and authentic. Yeah. You know, I think he, he lived that life. And um, so yeah. it was a really, really cool experience to, to meet him and be part of that. And uh, they've gone through some changes in their organization as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. good Tom, great isn't it, isn't it, It's Tom that runs it now, right? Mm -hmm. His son is now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I believe. It's so incredible. Great. Wow. What, a, what an honor for you to be able to, to, to meet him. You went to church with him? I did. I got to see him walk, teach Sunday school. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. That's incredible. And I remember, and I can remember the passage of what he, the story that he told. Wow. Um, That's incredible. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. That could be, that could be life altering. You know, it is. And the story that he talked about um, was how you're always loved, no matter where you are in life, because you're God's son or daughter. And I just, I can see him up there at his Baptist church telling that, that wow. story. And I'm not Baptist, um, but it certainly aligns with a lot of my beliefs. And I can, that, that story of you, you know, to remember that no matter what is going on in your life, you are a son and daughter wow. and you're love. That's incredible. Well, I hope that, um, I, I mean, I, I listen, I, <laughs> when you asked me to review your book, I said, Oh my gosh, I'd be, I'd be beyond honored. I would, that's like, I can't even believe you asked me. So thank you for that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and, and I think that, um, personally, I think that you, um, I mean, you, you took a little bit of a, have some kids sabbatical. <laughs> is that, is that wording it properly? <laughs> but, yeah, it, uh, it, I, I was very fortunate to start, um, and I had my kids later. I was a little bit older when yeah. I had them, so I had my career really going. Yeah. And then um, those kids, I mean, you know it. it uh, it's it's life-changing, obviously, yeah. and it's supposed to be. That's yeah. what it is. But then you, you really have the chance now with kids to live what you say you should be doing all the time. Because if you don't, I have three little voices that will quickly call it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a thing in the kitchen, Jill does, that is a little plaque that says something, and I'm paraphrasing, but it says something to the effect of um, children will rarely do what they're told, but they will always um, imitate. Yeah, imitate. They will always imitate. imitate. That is a Zig Ziglar, that's a Zig Ziglar quote. Children aren't good at listening, oh. but they're really good at imitating. Is that a Zig Ziglar quote? Other people, I'm sure, have said it too, but I do have that as one of his. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have that on a little little plaque in the kitchen sitting on the counter. So, um, I, but I think that, uh, oh, Greg Walker's in the house. Greg is a motivational speaker. Um, Les Brown wrote the foreword to Greg's book. Greg's, oh my Greg's a good friend of mine. He lives here in Columbus. He owned a owned a bunch of Subway restaurants, and he Greg mm. literally just went through. Um, he's he's uh, has diabetes real bad, and and um, had to have part of his foot amputated, I guess, um, wow. just recently. But that guy is the most the the guy. That's the thing about. You know, there's certain people in this world that um, <clears throat> there he says, hey, Brad, I'm healing, brother. But he's one of those people that, like, his focus is on teaching people their own greatness, like have, helping people find that inside. And and he's he's one of that, – that's like you are. I mean, it's just – he's one of those people that no matter what happens in life, he is going to – find the positive and he literally was just in the hospital um here and and had part of his foot removed mm. and and you know he's just he finds the positive in everything it's incredible it's a it's a skill and it is i mean when people it's amazing those stories and, and the people living that are such inspirations so yeah. thank you yeah yeah so um I'm excited to, um, to, for you and I to, 
I mean, we've been friends on Facebook and connected on LinkedIn, and, and I'm, I'm just excited that we're we're reconnected because I freaking I I just love you. I think the world of you, and 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 want to want to be able to help you with anything that I possibly can. So, well, Ken, that's right back at you, and it's uh. I mean, we got on today after such a long time. You know, those are the good friends that you can get right back on. And it's yeah. like you never, I mean, like eight years have passed. And it's like, <laughs> like we, uh, we, we look better, you know, eight years later. We, we both look better. We're eight years wiser. And that's right. Time hey, I tell Jill, I tell, I tell, well, I told her once, I should say. She says, she said something to me. Um, I said, here, ha have a seat. I said, I, I want to impart some of my wisdom on you. I said, look, I wrote a book on it. <laughs> she got up and walked that, out. <laughs> I was going to say, how'd that go over? <laughs> she, she got up and walked out. So I, I haven't been able to use that one anymore. But, um, no, I'm excited to read your book and and, um, and help you in a lot of ways. And, and you know, as always, you, you've always helped me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Well, you are living the Zig, the, the Zig's most famous quote. You certainly live it. I love that quote. I, I, you know, Zig was the very first, um, his first sales book I ever read was, was by Zig Ziglar. Mm -hmm. Very first one. I think it was, I think it was See You at the Top, mm -hmm. I, I believe. Isn't that one of his books, See You at the Top or Absolutely. something like that? But yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I, lo I love it. So anyway, all right, well, um, I just wanted to hop on here for a minute with you and, and share some of your wisdom with, with um, look, Deb Ballinger said she can't wait for your book. How, uh, how soon do you think this, this book's going to be ready to, to roll out to the world? I'm thinking right at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year, it's in final. I've got the paper copy in my hand that I'm, I'm reviewing to yeah. make sure that it's all ready to go Good. and um, but yes yeah, so I'm getting all the reviews together so that we can start promoting it Good. and then um, and we're gonna have a um, like I mentioned the podcast to go along with it yeah where I'm gonna be interviewing leaders and sharing their woes and their challenges and then also their successes because I think that's what you know people want to hear about those challenges that you've overcome yes they and do then, also be a training course to go along with it, to walk people through these six steps and then give them the tools and teach them how to do it. Because um, step one is to start with vision. This guides your decisions and keep you focused to stay on your mission. Wow. How many decisions do we make every day? And if we make the decisions that don't keep us going in that right direction, you know, at the end of the day, we're exhausted and we didn't get anything done. Yeah. So we've got to get that focus. And... We'll be walking people through all of this, and, and they're going to be learning about their team, how to pull out the strengths of each team member, how to reward them. Um, you wow. know, and one of the most, the biggest things that people want is appreciation. I just heard another sur survey come out about that, or another study about how important appreciation is. There's, I, I, I <clears throat> and again, you know, in my book, I, I start out in the beginning, I, I say, um, you know, there's one of my favorite quotes is there's no such thing as an original thought. All wisdom is mm -hmm. plagiarized. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't know that to be true or not. I believe that, you know, God or whatever you want to call God is, is always, you know, flowing ideas are, are out there for everybody to grab a hold of. And, and so, <clears throat> you know, but I, I, I say that exact thing all the time. Uh, you, you know, it, it, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I, I keep going off on tangents, but <laughs> no, this is great. I've so appreciated this um, this opportunity, and this is my first Facebook Live. Oh, it's your Ken, first one. You know, well, you are the master coach of social media, so this was, you know, hey, we're gonna get you out there, Tiffany, today. <laughs> I didn't know you'd never done one though. No, I didn't know if I'm doing my phone right. That's why I said I'm a novice. Oh. No, hey. No time like now. It's just it is the time to get out there. I love it, and 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 I well then let me encourage you to um, do like you've got. You're one of the smartest people I know on this planet, and you're so <laughs> motivating. I mean this, you know. I mean you're so motivating, and and you have so much to offer the world. 
I really think that, and, and I saw uh, Greg said he sent you a friend request. I would imagine that most of the people that see this after hearing how, how eloquently <laughs> you speak and articulate you are, um, you're going to get a lot of friend requests. <laughs> so, so um, you know, I think you need to start doing Facebook Lives and tell the, tell the world who you are. Stop hiding it. Yes, Jedi Master of social media. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but I uh, right. I do love helping people. So, and and you've got a lot to offer. Thank you. So, Thank you. all right, the book is on the way, and I Soon. will be promoting and and sharing, you know, tidbits about the book and and giving people opportunity to purchase that as soon as possible and and start living it because it's a lot of fun. It is a fun book. And on the back of it, it says, if you're open to change and growing within, the keys are quite simple when you're ready to win. Oh, God, I love that. I <laughs> love that. All right, I, you're going to email me a copy of the book here shortly to review it. Right, right? now. I mean, as soon as we get off, because, you know, I can't do two things at once. So I am so as as excited off, about it. I'm, I'm excited about it, Tiffany. You rock. You're amazing. Thank you. Listen, if there's anything I can do for you, you know how to get a hold of me. We'll do. Let's try to get. Oh, your, I know it. Let's get that. <laughs> let's get that look. Brad French said, "Deadly." I want that book. Deb Ballinger <laughs> said, "I love it." Look, you've already got some book sales. What's my commission? I'm just kidding. So the the <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. But the 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 um, what was I going to say before I made that dumb joke? Um, I don't remember. Oh, can we have, do you think you can have it ready before Christmas? I think I can. You know, what I think it'll be ready. I, I don't know if I did my copyright for 2018 in it. Mm. I don't know. Well, the copyright can... stuff I have found is a little, um, there's not like hard and fast rules about it. So no. I, I, that would be a great. It is a good, and it comes with a bonus think book in it, in the back, because it's great to get ideas, but action is essential. So here's a think book to write down. Um, ideas, so it's got, it's full of quotes that go along with each step, and then there's space there for you to write down your ideas. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's set a public goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We can leave it open. Leave it open a little bit with some room for, but see how many people want the book before Christmas? Uh, all right, let me see what I can do. <laughs> you guys are giving me my motive. Let's see. <laughs> Don't, hey, Tiffany, do not unfriend me. I, I, <laughs> I just, I, I would love to see that. And, and look, we could, we could do a, you know, plan some sort of a launch party. And, okay. and we could have like get a bunch of, like I know I can get all my friends in there. We can get a bunch of people do a live stream launch party and and really push it out like I did with mine. Well, I said Jedi Master, I am following your steps now, and <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be your I'll be one of your. Um, I know that's going to be something that you're going to be doing is helping people write their books, and yeah, I will be that success story of. That's what awesome. do you do after? Because it's fine to write it, but okay, now you got to get it out there and people need to know about it. Right, right. Yeah, that's, this is this your is, area. This is awesome. All right, well, let's um, let's let's see if and and if there's anything again, if there's anything I can do to help, you know, I will. So um, yes, let's. Let, I think that it would be. God, I'm so looking forward to seeing this book. Okay, I keep let's checking get off here. my email. It's not here yet. I can't do two things at once. I have to focus. What a beautiful wall behind you. What is that? Is that like your library? It is. Yeah, I've got a lot of books. Wow, look at that. Gee, many Christmas. And I thought my little... And yours is going to be up there now. I'm going to uh, get to go. I have to, I get to go order your book so that oh, it can join. Oh, that's my awesome. That's awesome. Wall of grace. I have and, those, people... and then that's when I... That's what I give to people then. That's one of the things about coaching is meeting people where they are and giving them what they need when they need it. Yeah. And those books are so important. And your words are 
I, I know you've met people who have said you've changed their life. And now I'm excited to add your book to that collection that I can share that with my clients for them to read too. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. You're, you're amazing. I'm so glad we reconnected and, and anything I can do, I will help you. My friends, I'm sure most of them will help you. Um, you know, I'm sure they will there. I have some amazing friends. So, um, let's, let's, um, let's stay in touch here over the next few days for sure. And, and let me know right. if I can help. All right. We'll do that. Thanks, Ken. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day. You too. Bye, Talk everyone. To you soon. Thank you. More to come. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.